Hello beautiful beings, Lillian Elia here. So today I'll be talking about the difference between term life, universal life, and whole life. So I'll start with term life. Term life is a life insurance policy that is issued for a given period of time, such as 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, term to age 65, term to age 80. So if you die within that particular period of time, within that term, the death benefit, which is the life insurance money, would be given to your designated beneficiaries. However, if you die outside of that term, then there's no death benefit to receive. The reason for that is, if you don't die during the term, the policy would expire when the term comes to an end and there'll be no death benefit to be paid. Term insurance is sometimes referred to as pure life insurance because its sole purpose is to provide financial protection to your dependents in the event of your death. So unlike universal life and whole life that builds a cash value, term insurance does not. So when you die, they get the death benefit. If Once you die within a term, that is. If you die outside the term, that means the term would have expired. There's no cash value to get back. One of the biggest benefits of having a term life insurance is that the premium is a lot smaller, it's cheaper, a lot less, than whole life or universal life insurance. However, the biggest drawback is that there's no other benefit except for the death benefit, except for the life insurance money that your family is gonna receive when you die. Like I said, there's no cash value. Wait a second. So one of the biggest drawbacks is that there's no cash value. But another big drawback is if I don't die within the term, then there's no money for my family to get at all? Why would somebody take out a term life insurance then? Here's why. Okay, here are three reasons why people buy term life insurance. Number one, people get term insurance because it is cheaper. It's a lot cheaper, right? There's no cash value to it, so as a result, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. And it's for a particular term, it's for a particular period of time. So as a result of that as well, it's cheaper. Reason number two, people buy term life to protect liabilities. So if someone were to purchase a home or a vehicle or have some sort of large investment that they need funding for, you get term life insurance to protect that liability. So in the event of your death, that term life can wipe out that debt entirely. And that debt does not fall on your family. Reason number three, some people buy term life because for its sole purpose, to protect their family against financial hardship in the event of their death. So let's say someone is 35 years old, married with children. They want to ensure that should they pass away during the next 30 years, their family would be able to financially function. So they take out a 30 year term. So at the end of 30 years, the 35 year old would be 65 years old. So at that point, the policy would come to an end, it would expire, the family would no longer need to depend solely on him or her, and there's no need for insurance anymore. Okay, so now I move on to universal life and whole life. So while term life is there for a particular period of time and is considered temporary insurance, whole life and universal life is considered permanent insurance because it goes for your whole life, for your entire life. So with whole life, it goes all the way to age 100. Universal life can also go to age 100 as well. However, universal life is a little bit more flexible. So it can go to age 65 first, then extend to 75, then extend to 85, or varying ages in between. Okay, so we established that universal life and whole life both go to age 100. So now I'll look at the differences. Universal life insurance is a permanent life insurance policy that focuses more on the flexibility of premiums rather than the cash value growth. So there is a cash value to get, but it's not guaranteed. The benefit though is that you have the ability to increase or decrease your premiums or your coverage based on your situation, based on your lifestyle. So the cash value now is something that will fluctuate based on the trends of the market. It's not something you can set for sure from inception that this is the amount I'm going to get back when the policy matures. It doesn't work like that. That's where whole life comes in. 
So universal life is great. It does exactly what insurance is supposed to do. Provide financial protection to your family in the event of your death. So another benefit of universal life insurance is that the premiums are less than the whole life. Because the policy is not cash value growth centric, the premiums therefore would be a little less because it guarantees death benefit, but it does not guarantee an exact cash value figure. So for families who are on a budget and would require permanent life insurance policies, a universal life insurance policy is the best. Highly recommended. Don't necessarily need cash value, but you definitely have the coverage to protect your family from financial hardship. So now I move on to whole life insurance. It's kind of my favorite. So whole life insurance, of course, is for your whole life. It's permanent life insurance that covers you all the way to age 100. The benefit, one of the benefits that I love a lot is that it has guaranteed cash value. The premiums are fixed, so you can't increase or decrease. It's a fixed premium that goes until, depends on the type of plan, they have lifetime pay, they have paid up to 65 and varying different options. So it depends on the plan that you have. But the, another benefit is that the cash value is equal to the sum assured, which is the amount of money your family gets when you die, when you are age 100. So the cash value is usually a lot higher, and it's also guaranteed, than compared to universal life. The premiums in a whole life policy is a little bit more than it is on a universal life policy or a term life. And of course, the whole life has guaranteed cash values. So it's understood why the premium would be a little bit higher. It acts as a savings essentially as well. So when approaching age 65 or even age 60, if you decide, well, you know, I no longer need this policy, my children are all grown, they can take care of themselves, nobody financially depends on me anymore, I can surrender this policy. When you surrender it, the cash value is all yours and it's a large savings. So sometimes people can use that cash value to supplement their retirement income as well. So if you have a retirement plan and you're getting cash value from your whole life insurance, imagine that's like extra income there, you know? So whole life is awesome. Term life, whole life, universal life. Which one is better? Which one should I take? So it's not a matter of which one is better. It's a matter of which one is best for you and for your family. So when choosing a life insurance plan, it's important to look at your family structure, your financial situation, your budget, your future goals, your retirement goals, right? This will help you get a sense of where you're at and which plan is best suited for you at that point in time and also looking at your future as well. So speak with your agent or if you don't have an agent, contact an agent and ask them to guide you through the differences and the benefits of each type of insurance policy. Okay, so that brings us to the end of it. Of course, if you find this video helpful, informative, and beneficial, if you like it, like it, share it with somebody who you think should hear this information, save it for future reference, and of course, comment down below what your thoughts are, if you have any questions, or you can message me. All right, you'll have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you all soon.